what is up guys it's your boy Larry G back again with another video and today I just want to give some initial thoughts on David Banner's new album The God Box in case you aren't aware southern hip-hop artist yes from Mississippi David Banner who's been gone for quite some time dropped an album named The God Box and please forgive me as I'm outside filming this and the sun is I'm, I'm doing what I can I actually have the track list pulled up on my phone here because I'm not that great at remembering track titles so it starts off with Magnolia featuring CeeLo Green awesome song right off the bat the production value is there the bars are there the music is there CeeLo is there it's it's a really good song I like the concept um, it's from the perspective of a magnolia tree in the south that's seeing all these horrible things going on and um, I'm here for it very great intro opening track to the project from there we go to my Uzi featuring Big Crit this song Big Crit's verse actually put me back on to Big Crit so I will continue to uh, go through that my Uzi featuring Big Crit um, talk about carrying guns and having to carry guns and the reason that you do these things the reason you make bad choices or seemingly bad choices I'm here for this song too great opening um, from there we get to and I'm just gonna go through uh, a couple of other songs that I like Elvis um, we've heard it from other artists like J. Cole before how um, white people are taking hip-hop and black culture and appropriating it and then doing better on the numbers um, the hook is uh, Justin Timberlake is what Usher's supposed to do um, just speaking to that I see the point in that argument but I also want to know why don't black artists support each other the way they support white artists like and it's, it's not just music, because Usher makes good music and Justin Timberlake makes good music. And when Macklemore first came out, even he acknowledged that, hey, I'm probably going to do better because I'm good and I'm white. That song raises a lot of arguments. It's going to piss a lot of people off. It's going to say some things that people don't agree with. But this whole album says things people don't agree with. This is from a southern black person's perspective. And... David Banner's not a young guy. He's kind of old. He's an older gentleman and uh, he's been around the block a couple times. So obviously, this is coming from more of a I've seen this firsthand, not just I've heard about this growing up. Another song I really like is Amy featuring Trinidad James. Um, I'm not too keen on, I can't remember exactly what the song is talking about, but I did enjoy the feature from Trinidad James, even though I did not enjoy his debut. Uh, single Trinidad James actually throws down on this song so I will give this song my approval and you have songs like marry me which are which is more like a love ballad in some sense it's like uh, admitting that some black guys don't look for marriage or it's stereotypical for black guys to not look for marriage and to just like hoe around and do that sort of thing and David Banner's coming from the perspective of like no I, I want to do the right thing I want to marry you like I, I'm breaking the stereotype that I can't ask for your hand in marriage it's real songs like Cleopatra Jones are just like that ear butter that ear candy that you really look for and really want in a song and um, that's all I got for like the honorable mentions as far as tracks go production value like I said it's there David Banner spent time on this album obviously he spent time on the concept called the God Box there's uh, often speaking parts at the end of songs where there may there he or a female is um, discussing what is the God Box or who is the God Box and I'm not gonna tell you what the God Box is because I believe that the God Box is different for everybody but I really think that you should give this album a listen um, probably two or three times to kind of pick up to get the full essence of things that go on um, to get the full range of messages that get portrayed throughout this album if you're a fan of southern hip-hop you're a fan of that dirty south sound if you're from Mississippi Louisiana Arkansas 
not really Texas, um, that Florida, Alabama-ish line, and you like Southern hip hop, I really think you'll like this David Banner album. I really, if you're into more conscious, um, I hate using that term because we're all conscious, but in a Southern gentleman's educated take on a sensitive topic, if you're into that and you come with an open mind, then I think you will enjoy The God Box by David Banner. I'm feeling, feeling, feeling like giving this album a seven. Um, I'll probably listen to it a couple more times before I give like a real final verdict that I'll give to my friends or recommendations or what have you. But I'm really feeling a solid seven for this album. I would have liked less speaking, but I feel like that's a trend that's happening on albums now. Logic did it a lot in everybody and I've seen other artists do it on their albums recently. It's just a trend that's happening right now. <laughs> that's all I got. David Banner, The God Box. Check it out. You have a recommendation from me. Somebody's angry. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. My name is Larry G. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you're on YouTube, hit that subscribe button. If you're on Facebook, like my Facebook page. I will check you guys in the next one. Peace and believe that.